Yo, listen to this. Do you hate America? No. You know, in fact, I'm knowing many inmates. I figure out we're sharing way more common. Maybe America is very much similar. Look, it's the same size. They have a, it's the same kind of this. And when you talk to them, there is nothing there even to beef about. We are naturally, you know, born not to be enemies. And whenever there's conflict, it's elites. You know, every, you know, American I met in a prison who is uh, from rural area was very easy to deal with. He has no problem with Russia, and he was curious about Russia, despite all propaganda. They're losing their Christian values. They're losing their families. They're losing literally their countries. It's not anymore the same country. We knew America, who used to be a model for entire world, and lead and be an example. You know, like they say, a shiny town on the you know sparkling town on a hill. And this is, of course, pity. It was a strong country who was really a you know industrial might. You know, this one, and look for 30, 40 years. Deindustrialization, drug problem, crime waves. You can understand, and I feel more empathy to American after this experience than I would feel any hate. What would you consider as the most important event of the years that you have spent in prison? Uh, which events? Uh, international? Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe international. 2014. Oh, okay. Why? Well, it's, I guess, uh, would be in a history as a turning point. It's a turning point of Russia. Finally, stand up on its knees. Proud, strong. 14 years ago, when you were, if you would have known that it's going to happen with you, I mean, you're going to spend 14 years away from your family, from your motherland, would you have... Uh, would you do something differently in your life? It's difficult to live on the callings of your heart. But if you listen in your heart, no, you know, yes, you're gonna, sometimes you get into trouble, but you never betrayed yourself. You know, and this inner peace gives you enough strength to go through everything. Why? Because you don't have a conflict inside of you. Doesn't matter what. You have peace and tranquility. Because you trust in your heart, you trust in callings of your blood, you trust in, and you're never fighting who you are. Okay, man, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. The reason why I posted this clip is because of what this man said regarding the United States of America, and he wasn't lying. Bro, you can say whatever you want. This country is getting destroyed from the inside with drugs. I mean, fentanyl is killing hundreds of thousands of people and the media just doesn't care. Crime. Have you looked at California, Chicago, and the media is just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. this country is getting destroyed from the inside, bro. And yes, we are losing our Christian values. I mean, the majority of the founding fathers were Christian. Yeah, they were Christian. You can go and look it up. All right. And uh, I posted a video the other day and some people are worshiping the devil on the outside. There's an after school worshiping the devil in middle school and high school and it's just a mess, bro. And yeah, we are losing our families. I mean, the moment you tell your family that you might be voting for Donald Trump, they're looking at you like you coming from another planet. Right? So in general, yes, we are losing this country. It's not the same. And uh, if you watch my video, you know who I blame. I blame politicians in general and more specifically a Democrats. All right. I mean, those politicians in the United States of America, politicians are millionaires, bro. Nancy Pelosi worth a hundred million dollars and more with a 225k salary. Really? Okay. Let me know what you think about this video. Everything else he said, I mean, bro, you are a spy. Okay, so you are a spy. So everything else you said there, I was just like, nah, I don't believe you. But that part about the United States of America, which is the part that I posted, I am pretty sure the rest of the world feel the same way. Looking at the US and be like, what are y'all doing? I still can't believe we put this man out there in the world for a basketball player. 
it's amazing bro only the united states will do something like that right god bless you catch you on the next one